So we redid this bathroom. We're in the process of it anyway, as you can see. I mean, this is completely different. The ceilings are different. I mean, we've done a lot of work in here. Here's a new vanity and sink and mirror and lights and commode and flooring and all this stuff. But then over here, this is dreadful. This tub shower, I mean, cleaned it up the best we could. Uh, and now I'm gonna try my hand at painting this thing. So I wanted to get a little before uh, and show you a little bit about how this works. First time I've ever did it. So we're gonna give it a shot, see how it goes. So first things first, you gotta get it clean. Clean it, clean it, clean it. You know, I've used lime away, various things like that. This tub was really dirty. So it's as clean as I can get it now. Now we're using the Rust-Oleum Tub and Tile Refinishing Kit. This is what our local hardware store has. This is the only option we have. So we're going with it. So let's see how it goes. Two cans come inside that box along with a bunch of instructions. And those instructions say that once you get it nice and clean that you take 400 grain sandpaper that you can pick up at your hardware store and go over the entire tub and shower with it to rough it up and then go over that with a tack cloth. So that's what we're getting ready to do. Let's do it. So just got through wiping it down with a tack cloth and now we're ready to mix this up. But first you have to stir the contents of B before you add A to it. And uh, it, it says if you use less than a quart to ration it, but I mean, I'm gonna mix up the whole quart. You know, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna imagine I'm gonna use a quart. We'll see how it goes. Um, like I said, never done it before. And I'm using a, a, you know, a, a nice roller, a thin nap roller uh, with the tray and then also uh, one of the better brushes that our local hardware store has you know to get in these more difficult places um, so uh, don't want to leave I don't want to use the brush very much because I don't want to accidentally leave brush marks I want to use the roller as much as I possibly can so let's stir this up get a mask on get everything ventilated in here and get going Okay, I got one coat on, and let me tell you, when it says make sure you have ventilation, make sure you have ventilation, this stuff is strong, <laughs> Whew, mercy. Anyway, I'm gonna take this off for a second, show you what we got. All right, so here's one coat, okay? And, and actually, yeah, I got a little bit more than one coat right there because after I got around through here, I noticed some drips, and so I ended up doing another. So based on that, I think I'll have to do three coats. So I'm hoping the cord will be enough, but I really believe that it's gonna work out pretty good. So if you're watching this video, chances are you've never used this stuff and you're watching me to see how it goes, right? So far, so good, but I think you should know this going into it. It's runnier than regular paint. You can see that it is just, it is, it's, uh, it's not water, but it's definitely soupy. You know, I guess is what I would call soupy. And uh, I guess that's normal because I'm not doing anything other than what the directions say to do. So just let you know that first layer for me was very thin. So it took me constantly, you know, working it, making sure because the first one I put on there was like way too much. Um, and so I had runs and drips everywhere. So I was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, I think I've really screwed up. But as I used it, it got thicker. So my first layer was rather thin, but the second layer definitely got a lot thicker. Uh, so, you know, just a word from me, I don't know if you're doing it, don't be shocked. So I'm getting ready to put my third coat on here. It's, I think it's looking good, but I think it definitely needs a third coat. Hopefully not a fourth, but we'll see. And just so you know, I've used that full quart for two coats. Um, but now this, this tub was, you know, a dark color, darker color. So if you're painting a white one, I'm sure one quart's going to do it easy. But if you're painting a darker color like this, you may just be aware you may end up doing two quarts. So there you go. Let's get busy. Well, let me show you the finished product here. It's still doing a little drying, but um, you can basically say I used two full quarts. Close. I mean, close enough. If you're going to buy two quarts, you might as well, right? So let me show you. And there we go. It's still drying, but man. I'm really surprised. I still got to put this stopper on there, but uh, rest of it's 
done. A little clean in here and there, but it is by far way better than what I'd imagined. Honestly, in my mind, I thought, well, I'm gonna try this just because it's cheaper than buying a shower and it's worth a shot. And uh, I'm really glad I did it. So, um, looks good. Looks like a brand new tub and shower. So uh, I would definitely give it two thumbs up. Hopefully that helps you make your decision before you jump in. So if you've got a shower that needs a lot of attention, give it a shot. Thanks for watching.